Hello, my name is Mr. Fox, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, furry fan fiction from the 1980s today. One of those furry fanfic comics was by Excalibur Publications, and uh, this was called G.I. Jack Rabbits, or anyway, <clears throat> The Real American Hair. This is really bad, uh, but you know. Back in the day, people were starting up comics, and this was before internet. The internet wasn't really publicly available until it became heavily commercialized and available to the public, which was actually around 93 when it became available to the public, but started to become a lot more widely used in 1995. Anyway, before we had web comics and the internet, this was kind of how we uh, got furry fan fiction, along with a whole bunch of other weird things. Uh, so, uh, this is a note from Adam Post, who was the president, it says here, of Excalibur Publications. And, uh, I think they were mostly trying to make parody comics, which is kind of ridiculous in some ways. Well, obviously it's a parody, but <clears throat> they have Cobra here, which is to make fun of Cobra. You can see it's actually very poorly drawn. It's not colorized, which they were probably didn't colorize the panels to save money. This is supposed to make fun of Scarlet. The panels are fairly simple. There's not a lot of dialogue here. The G.I. Jack rabbits say Yo Jack. They mess up a lot. And they're kind of silly and ridiculous as they're supposed to be. There's probably a lot of startup comic companies that didn't do very well. This is one of those companies, obviously. And, uh, I hope you like seeing this weird stuff as much as I do. I have about 3,000 comics in my collection. I like to collect rare or unusual comics, and this is definitely one of those. I found this in the bargain bin for like 50 cents. Clearly nobody wants to read G.I. Jack Rabbits. And, uh, if you flip to the end over here, you have the secret files of the Jack Rabbits. You got Skywalker, Barbecued. You've got Sergeant Tusk, Rockin' Rabbit, Splash, and Scarlet O'Hare. Uh, General Thumper and Quickfoot. And here's some other comics they plan to release. Reagan's Raiders. Trying to make the president look like a hero, a war hero, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Uh, the Amazing Wazoo. And uh, I don't know how many of these comics came out because I've never seen anything. Other than this, from Excalibur Publications. Oh, and here's an advertisement for uh, Eastman and Laird's Ninja Turtles. Eastman and Laird created the uh, Ninja Turtles originally. Escape to the Stars, I've heard about that one. Anyway. Solson Publications, the comic company that dares to be deadly. So, anyway. Uh... Oh yeah, here's some other ones, Codenamed Ninja. A book about how to publish comics. That's actually pretty interesting. So this came out, it looks like 1986. Yep. December 1st, 1986. New York City. So, I don't know what you all think of this, but I thought it was interesting. It's a fun thing to see. I have a lot of these furry fanfiction comics, actually, from the 80s. 
I ended up finding a bunch of them for like 50 cents in the bargain bin. But anyway, if you like this and you want to see more about these things, uh, you know, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel. If you know ones that I don't know about, leave me some comments in the video section. And uh, thanks for listening, guys. Have a good night.